I'm doing well today. I certainly am. Um, I just thought I'd came, come on today because because I'm a hymns girl, as you know, and well, maybe some of you don't know, but I'm very old school. I love the hymns. I love old songs, old music, but especially the old hymns and the this song uh, popped into my head. Um, it was inspired by somebody playing a hymns game, and you know me. I got so excited because I love those old hymns. It's so funny when you're when you're growing up in church and you're singing songs like standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ, my Savior, standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God. Or, ah, so I'll cherish the old Ryan cross till my trophy at last I lay down. I will. Um, you really don't know um, what you're hearing because when you were a little kid you just wanted to be like oh roll your eyes when will this be over um, but I was feeling very nostalgic and um, I remember just um, hearing uh, this hymn I'm about to sing for you and like absolutely when I was a little kid I, I didn't really I heard this hymn but I didn't really like it but now it's one of my favorite favorites and saying I love the hymns doesn't negate um, the spirit of God on these newer worship songs I love the newer worship songs too I love all kinds of music and whatever but there's something about those old hymns something about the message of of them and how they explain the cross and jesus being by your side and i like in this quarantine i had um this song in my head which i'm gonna try and sing for you um uh, this hymn in my head it's called we have an anchor and um, after I sing it for you I'm gonna give like a short like sermon thing that I, like I usually do but I'll, I'll sing it for you first um, okay all right here it is. here it goes
miracle. Sorry about that. When your anchor holds to the storms of life, when the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tides lift and the cable spring, will your anchors drift or firm remain? Fellows roll fast fast into the rock which cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love is it safely more till the storms withstand is it for for tis well secured by the Savior's hand, and the cables passed from his heart to mine can divide the blast through strength divine. We Fasten to the rock, which 
heart cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. It's grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. What? When all these things are, forgive the noise going on behind me if you can hear that. Um, but in all this uncertainty and fear, I just want you to know that you have an anchor and his, and his name is Jesus. And when the tempest rage and when everything is just being tossed and turned, hold to your anchor. Hold to his word, because he never changes. Coronavirus may have changed everything, but the Lord never changes. He is still our anchor. He is still the one we can hold fast to. He never changes. His word stands fast. And when things are uncertain right now, we just need to focus on Jesus. We just need to cling to Jesus with all our might, our, our might, with all our strength, with everything we got right now in order to make it emotionally and spiritually to the other side of this thing. We need to hold on to Jesus with all we have. We need to get into his word with all we have. We need to get into prayer with all we have we need to get into worship with all we have when everything is when everything that can be shaken will be shaken and that which cannot be shaken will remain like the bible says we can we can be assured that that will remain will be Jesus, Jesus alone. When everything is closed and everything we hold held to is now shaken or overturned, we lost our jobs, um, people we know got sick, people we love got sick, people we love have died. Our anchor is Jesus, the thing we can hold firm to is Jesus. You know, um, anchors never come loose. E everything can happen to an anchor. It can get blown, it can get, uh, it can get tossed to and throw, but it can never come loose. We need to understand that with everything going on, all we need to do is hold on to Jesus and understand that all things are working for our good. Everything may not be good, but all things are working for our good. And he is our anchor and he wants desperately for us to cling to him, for us to come to him, not with our churchy religious faces, but he wants us to get down in prayer and get down on our knees and be real and say, God, I don't understand this. God, I don't know what's going on, Lord. He wants us to strip ourselves bare because when we do that, he can create something wonderful. Creation comes when you can totally be emotionally and spiritually naked for God and tell him what you're feeling and tell him what you what your hopes were and how they were dashed tell him all that and then he will take you to the place where he will teach you things about yourself this coronavirus I don't know for you guys but it's teaching me what's real and what's not. This coronavirus, I believe, is separating 
the men from the boys and the women from the girls. And it, it's teaching us that we're stronger than we ever knew. We're stronger than we ever could even think of. And he wants me to me to tell you today that he's your anchor if you would just hold on to him. You don't have to do it by yourself. He's with you. He will never leave you, never forsake you. Everything may have been been shaken, but he could he will never be shaken. And he loves you, beloved. He wants me to tell you that he loves you. And your journey is not over. Your job may have been lost. Everything may have been going crazy. Everything may have been closed. Um, vacations may be off or school may be off. Everything may be going absolutely nuts. But he is the one, the one stable factor in your life right now. He is the one stable thing in your life right now, in my life right now, and he wants us to cling to him with everything we've got. And he wants us to know that we will get through this. We will get stronger through this. We will get what we need through this if we just listen for the lessons. Yes, Lord. He says, listen for the lessons. There are lessons he wants us to learn through this. Coronavirus was not a good thing, but there are lessons coming out of this thing that we need to learn. And he's saying, listen for the lessons. Yes, Lord. Because in everything, good or bad, right or wrong, weak or strong, there are lessons that... Um, we can pick up to make our lives richer and stronger. Even if the thing are, that happened to us wasn't good, what is the lesson that God wants you to learn from it? Listen to the lesson. Listen to his voice in every situation. Uh, a lot of people ask, well, how can I hear the voice of God? How can I hear the voice of God? He's speaking, but you're not listening. He's speaking through your wife. He's speaking through your husband. He's speaking through your mother. He's speaking through your father. He's speaking through that movie. He's, spe he's speaking, but all we need to do is open our ears and listen. What is the lesson that he wants you to learn through this uh, coronavirus? He said, listen for the lesson and let him be your anchor. When everything is topsy-turvy, he is the center of everything. You know, I've heard, I heard somebody say this morning, find, find your focus, find whatever. Fix your focus and your focus in Jesus. That's true, but I would say also, when you fix your focus, don't take it off. And because sometimes we're focused, but one thing can go on and we just um, go back again. And imagine Jesus as a, in the middle of a Wheel of Fortune wheel. His face is in the middle. And we have all these different uh, uh, money amounts uh, around him. We have all this. We have kids. We have our job. We have our lo the loss of our job. We have people getting sick. We have all this stuff going on. He's saying, just look at the center. Just look look at the center focus don't focus on the dollar amount of death don't focus on the dollar amount of your finances don't focus on the dollar amount of your loss of job focus right on the center and everything else could keep moving around you 
but the center never moves. The center always stays the same. And if you look at the center, your outlook will begin to change. What I mean by the center, I mean look at Jesus. He is the center of everything. I always say, a lot of people say, um, the Lord is first in my life or whatever. And I always say this. I was reading a book called The Shack that came out about uh, 10 years ago and whatever. It's a really amazing book. Really controversial book, but really amazing book. And in it, the author said, Jesus is not first. He's the center, which means everything revolves around him. So if you keep Jesus at the center of your life, at the center of what's going on, whatever is going on, your perception will be different. Your focus will be different. So in order to fix your focus, you need to develop Jesus at the center. Because if you fix your focus, but then something happens over here and you're and you're kind of oh my god I need to fix that over there and I need to do that over there and you just your focus keeps on getting interrupted that's not good but put Jesus at the center not only to fix your focus but to know that he is the center of everything and nothing goes up out of his knowledge. Nothing passes, nothing gets to you without passing through the hand of God first. And you've got to understand that he is the center of everything. He doesn't cause everything, but he works everything for your good. And if you understand that he is the center of things, your perspective will change. If you understand that he is the center of everything, your focus will be shifted because the center does not move. The dollar amounts may change. Situations may change. Things may close down. School may close down. You may miss your graduation and your prom, but the center is still Jesus, and that never changes. Things may ar things around you may change, but Jesus never not never changes. He is still the King of Kings. He is still the Lord of Lords. He is still God, and He is working this for his, for our good. Um, I will see you later. Take care. And remember, we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the meadows roll. Fasten to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's we have an anchor that keeps the soul Then fast and sure on the bellows roll Fast and to the which cannot move Grounded from and deep in the sea. Years long, we have an anchor that keeps the Stand fast and short while the pain of one Fast into the rock which can 
Hi guys, see you Sunday for Storytime Sunday on YouTube. Bye, take care. Hold on to your anchor.